Do you ever wonder how people have reviews on their website from Google? It's because they have a website widget. I'm going to show you right here a very simple page when we click on reviews. When we go to the review page, they're adding in these reviews. But we're going to create a review widget to put at the top of this page to allow people to see the reviews in a new light rather than going through and just reading all of these on a page. But let's go ahead and go into our reputation and our widget. When you select the widgets, you have an option. This is what the current widget looks like, your widget, and where you can create a new widget. If I create a new one, it's going to take me to the widget page. On the right side, you'll see the layout of the widget, the content of the widget, the appearance of the widget, and the settings of the widget. The layout is how we decide we want the layout of our reviews to look. You can also select if you just want Google or Facebook reviews. Down here is the widget type. Let's look at list. When I select list, you'll see it shows the reviews in a list mode. If I select grid, it shows the review in a grid mode. This is common and looks really great on a website for quick reads. On the grid view, you see its little squares and what fits in the review. On the masonry, it actually sets the little areas of the review to shorter and longer based on the review. And then the legacy is what originally came with your software, which was this format right here. I wanna do the grid review. I think this is gonna look great on their website. Then down here, you can select max number of reviews. Do you want 20 to show before they load more? Do you want 10 to show? Do you just want five to show? Let me go ahead and select five and you'll see right here in the grid and masonry you'll see four to a row so if you just wanted to select four and have four reviews show up on your website you could or you could go to the max 20 and allow the 20 to show up and when you select load more you'll see how it's iframed and they can scroll down and load more to see more reviews what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and hit save on this one and we can call this our new layout. So I'm going to say website review layout. Use this template in your website, make it live. We're going to do that here in just a second. Now we have it named to our website review layout. I'm going to go ahead and click edit again because I'm really not done with this. I want to go into content. In content, we can add a heading check out our reviews, see what our customers say. We could put a description right here. We can select, do we want the rating to show, the total review count, or if we want to have the write a review button. So I'm gonna remove this because if they're visiting our website, more than likely they're not gonna be reviewing us from the website. If you do want people and you want to send them to a certain page on your website to review you, then you wanna show the button. You can also show the total count or remove the total count. And that's right here where it says the See what the customers say. This is the review. See where it says 286 reviews. If I remove that, then it won't have a number here. It'll just show the reviews. If you only have five or 10 reviews, you may not want to show the count. They almost have 300 reviews, so we definitely want to show that. If you don't want to show the rating, you can remove the rating. And that's right here where it says 4.80. If you want to remove that rating, you can remove that. This is a great widget layout to show people on your website your current reviews and they can continue to load more and read more of your reviews. There's no reason to have a total rating unless you do have a high rating, then I might show that. This is actually a great rating at 4.8. I'm just gonna remove this and say we've got 286 reviews. Then let's go to the appearance. We can select a light theme, a dark theme, or we can customize our theme. Let's go ahead and do light. And we can select the font if we want to change the font to be the closest font to their website. I'll keep it as this, the rub font. And then over here, you see the primary color. This is your primary widget color. The secondary widget color, which will be the grays right here. The background color, which we have as white. The primary review color, this is in black. 
The secondary review cover, which would be their name, is going to be in gray. The review background color, that would be in here. We have it as white. Let's say we wanted to make this a light green. You would see how we can really customize this to make it really pretty. The star rating color we have as a yellow. You usually keep your stars as yellow, but if you do want to change the color of the star, you can change the color of the star to match the branding on the website. You can get really creative. The border color color is what's around here, but let's say I wanted to change the border color and use something that was close to a color on their website. I can now change that green color here. I'm going to go ahead and do a big bright yellow star for the yellow stars, and I'm going to keep this really clean. They've got a white background, and they use this specific color. If you've got branded colors, in this case, they have two colors right here. I would stick to the actual colors that they have on their website. I'm going to copy this website color number, and I'm just going to bring it over here to make sure that I have it matching to the website color. So we've got a lot of white space and we've got it looking really pretty. If I wanted to make the background color of each one their brand, I could do the same thing here, have this pop which means that I would need to change the text color to make sure that all of these light grays are more a white color. So let's bring this into white color. Our primary color would be white. Our review color would be a lighter white. We'll go to the secondary color to make it white. And now look how pretty that looks. We'll be able to add a little bit of color in reviews to match this page. Now that I've got my widget all set up, I recommend saving it just so you have your widget saved. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the template. And now we want to go to the settings. Do we want to display the dates on the review? Do you want to display the reviewer icon? So watch what happens. When I remove the display date, the date removes. If I remove the icon, you'll see the reviewer icon, their Google icon, or remove it. We're going to just leave it as the name. Exclude review containing no description. For example, what this means is see how this is a five-star review. It just has a name. We don't have any words on there, so we can exclude the reviews that don't have any descriptions. What the comment was that they left on the review. Now that we're done and the review looks great I just noticed here let's go back to our appearance I just noticed the primary color we changed to white I want to change it back to their brand and there we go see what our customers say that's what I had changed to white and then the secondary color let's go change that that was our number of reviews let's go back to appearance so there we go. The primary color and the secondary color are the ones that are on the top. So I just made it all branded. Now we're ready to share. And what you want to do is you want to copy the embed code. And we'll go ahead and go into their website. Let me show you what it looked like before. So you see this looks pretty and great. But let's go ahead and go into the website. And every website is going to be a little bit different. So depending on your website, whether it's an internal website or a third-party website, you're still going to want to enter in that code. So I'm going to select widgets. Let me look for the code right here. I'm going to copy the code into the website, select update, and now check it out. We've got some reviews right here, and look at that wonderful way to embed the reviews. And now when we refresh the page, we're going to see those reviews right here on the website. And that's how you add a review widget to a website. First, you wanna create your review and then you wanna embed the code. Make sure that you save your code so that way you save your widget. If you had an internal website built inside of your system, you would do the same thing here. Just add the widget. We're looking for the code right here. All we're going to do is select the code over here to the right. We'll open the code editor. We'll paste and that script is now saved right here. You'll see the custom HTML code. Let's go ahead and preview this. And inside your software on your website funnel or your website page, 
look at how easy that was to add. So you can add your widget to an external website page or an internal website page just by copying the code. Just remember that you can create new widgets to go on a variety of pages and funnels. Wherever you want to show off those awesome reviews, you're definitely going to want to create a review widget that matches your brand. Yeah. Oh,